Welcome back to Anime Recaps. Let's continue Sabikui Bisco. Episode 7. As Pawu attempts to seize Bisco, the giant flying snake re-emerges from the valley and grabs hers with a finger like appendages along its side. Milo has Aktagawa jump onto its back and wound it with its claw, forcing the snake to release Pawu but it grabs Aktagawa's claw with its long tongue. In desperation, Milo severs Aktagawa's claw but the double-headed snake swallows both him and Bisco who tries to save him. Bisco manages to kill the snake from the inside with his mushroom creating arrows. Bisco then tastes one of the Matsutake mushroom attached to the body of the snake and declares that it is not the rust eater, but Milo discovers that it reacts on contact with Bisco's mushroom keeper blood enabling him to make a rust neutralizing serum. Kurokawa arrives overhead in an airborne vehicle to take the giant rust eater snake's body, and he shoots Bisco with a rust bullet before departing with the snake. Pawu has a change of heart about Bisco, even calling him cute before she leaves for Emihama with some of Milo's anti-rust serum to cure Jabi. However, when she arrives back Shimobuki base she finds her men gone and Kurokawa holding Jabi. Bisco tries to follow her but he is too weak from his wounds so Milo injects him with some serum and prepares to save Pawu and Jabi himself. That is episode 7, be sure to subscribe to stay notified for episode 8.